Hello everyone, this is a tutorial where you can send an automated uh, messages using Selenium Python. Uh, note that this is not um, the best practice. I'm just trying uh, writing it in a very simple way to be able to understand it well. So first we are importing WebDriver from Selenium and then we will import the time library. Uh, so we will create our driver uh, using Firefox. So we will write test driver, WebDriver to Firefox. And then we will open the website which is Facebook. So let's try that. Facebook.com slash messages and we will uh, and we need to hit the messages itself. So let's run this and see what will happen. Let's go and go to automate messages.py run it. So yes, it redirects us to the login page. He said you must log in. So to uh, escape the login page or not escaping it to uh, enter the use the email and passwords first let's go and get the id the id of this input is email so let's get and create this inputs email input equal test driver dot find element by id and this one is the email so let's write the password input And see what will uh, be the ID of the password input and the login button. What is the ID for the password? The ID for the password is pass. And what is the ID password? Uh, what is the ID of the login button? So let's get the login button and the, and the ID for the password input is pass. So Let's pass an email and password to these fields. So let's create. Well, I created a temporary email called Ahmed Ramzi AB uh, at gmail.com. And the password is testing automation. And let's pass these values to the email input. So email input dot send email and password input dot send password and finally we should press on the login button so finally uh, I uh, saved this and I have to run it to see what will happen let's go we should log into the messages after uh, passing the right email and password so let's go and see it opened the Facebook messages and it redirected to the login page and after logging it, yes, it wrote the email password and pressed login. Correct. So, the next step is to escape or to wait till this black uh, screen finished and write in this search messenger uh, the account name we want to contact. Uh, then we should click on it and then write here the, our message and press send. So, the first step is to get this search input area. We'll get it through xpos let's go and copy xpos if you don't know what is the xpos please go and google it so there yeah so uh, equal test driver the fine element by xpos And then we will we want so let's create first a list of contacts I will get first this account second one I don't know to go to the first account first so we wrote this and we may increase in this list and loop on on them so let's go send the first element which is Mohammed Faru this string but first we have to wait 10 seconds till the black screen and to make sure that everything is loaded correctly uh, I know this is not the best practice there is a lot of ways that can handle this situation but as I said I'm just making it as simple as possible so here we uh, write the contact get the xpath and send key so we should now after login Find 
write the name in the text box in the search area let's go and see what will happen I will make this window this side he said you must log in okay clear and now loading waiting 10 seconds okay the window is finished so now after 10 seconds he must try it in the search yeah nice he wrote he wrote it in this area great now the second step is to is to click on the first account so let's go and click on the first account let's get the x pass so okay let's go we should wait till uh, the account is loaded uh, this isn't the case that the internet is not so good so I will put it in three seconds to make sure just the first account appeared again this is not the best practice uh, let's go and run and see what will happen it opened the messages but redirect to the login page email password written logged in he must try it in search messages now but he have to wait 10 seconds i guess 10 seconds too much maybe i will make this nice he wrote on the muhammad faru after 30 seconds he clicked it he clicked on the first contact great so now the next step is to write a message here so let's get the uh, the um, the CSS selector to this area so sending writing a message message text box equal test driver find element by CSS selector and then I have to pass the CSS selector okay then i should send the value which is message let's declare a message hello faru hello muhammad faru okay this is a message we want to send to this account um, but first we have to wait another three seconds the account is loaded so that we can be able to send this to him so great let's go and see what will happen again running python 3 automate messages the py Great. We're waiting till the black screen is off. Write the name, select the first contact. Now we should type in this area after three seconds. Oh, he didn't draw it. Oh, nice. He wrote it. Great. Hello, Mohammed Faru. So the next step is to press the send button. This is the send button. So let's get its X pass. I forgot to add these ashes here. Sorry. So send button dot find element by X pass. I don't like these X passes, so I will try to make to get it in another way I 
I'll try to get this dev. This dev con so I will get this dev slash a after it slash a so I r this dev slash a we will go here and then after getting this element we should press uh, let's wait just one second and let's see what will happen after clicking send I guess everything is correct now now it will open the messages but it will redirect us to the login page we write the email and password then press login then we should wait 10 seconds till this black screen is off and then write in the search text area oh. uh, it didn't disappear so to close all of them and run it again you can write something that wait till the black screen is off and instead of writing time to sleep I'm just writing it to be as fast as possible and as simple as possible I just want the idea itself to be delivered to you so now we are uh, repeating the process let's see what will, ha what will happen we went to messenger now he must try it in search message after 10 seconds right he must read uh, the first contact he clicked on it then he must select in the type of message he wrote it then he sent it yes that's it great now we successfully send the message uh, using selenium and python great so if we want to make uh, this in a loop we can do it simply uh, by writing the list of accounts here After finishing this process, <coughs> I will write. Oh, I could write a loop. Um, I could write a loop that uh, goes through this account, and then we we'll go. I don't like now to uh, to do this. I will do this in another window until I see what they sent so uh, thanks for uh, now thanks it for now and uh, uh, see you in the next video hello uh, let's I'm back again so now uh, let's try to uh, uh, loop on the contacts as you see in the last video so I wrote uh, here are the two names so I will go and loop for uh, these two accounts I didn't change anything in the code uh, so I will just run it so it first will go the first account then it will search for the second one and choose it uh, and then send uh, the values let's go again and see the process first of all uh, write the email and password and press logged in 
then I will wait 10 seconds till this uh, window disappears. It disappeared. Then I will write in the search messenger the name, which is Mohammed Farouk. After 10 seconds now, and then I will select the first contact name. After selecting it, I will type here in the message and then press on the sign key. Then I will search for the second account and I will choose the first account that appears and then I will write a message and then he will press send. So nice. I sent two messages and the code is finished. So you can write here whatever you want in the list and also the messages. You can write a specific message for each uh, account and it will be automatically uh, sent. So that's it. I Now I showed you how to uh, automate messages using Selenium and Python in a very simple way. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.